All right, let's just talk about one little elusive peripheral nerve entrapment that does go under the radar, but it is quite rare, and that's the musculocutaneous nerve. Now, the reason I bring this up is just every now and then you may get a client that may be involved in doing repetitive push-ups, and sometimes you can get this, what we call musculocutaneous nerve entrapment. Very rare, but it does happen, sometimes with weightlifters as well. And we're basically going to be working on the coracobrachialis muscle, which is definitely missed a lot. And let's face it, it attaches onto the coracoid process along with the pec minor and the short head of the biceps. So in order for us to work here we obviously have to find the bicep and the tricep and in between there you'll find the coracobrachialis which lies in there. So in order for you to find the coracobrachialis it's actually quite simple. Find the edge of your bicep, find the edge of your tricep, place your finger in there like so, then bring your arm into your body and then squeeze your elbow into your body and it should pop up underneath your finger. Fingers. So that's your coracobrachialis. Now in order to treat this area, I'm going to come in from this point of view. We've got a little bit of cream, so we need to work almost all the way up. And I'll just get you to push up into my hand, okay, and then I can feel the coracobrachialis pop up there. Okay, so it's a gentle technique because this is a bit of an area that's quite delicate. If you flick over it, sometimes you might flick over and hit some of the other nerves there. Um, but the musculocutaneous nerve only goes and doesn't go past the elbow, so none of the symptoms should go past that. That They'll give you a really dull fullness through your bicep, okay? So we're going to come in. We use these first, these three fingers like so. We're going to brace here, sink down, okay? Sort of push the bice up out of the way and then sink along that border all the way up and sinking just to the back of the axillary area itself, okay? And that will be your coracobrachialis, okay? Now the trigger point for coracobrachialis is way up high. So you'll need to work backwards and forwards across just to pick it up, okay? So remember, don't be in here digging away. You just wanna make sure that you press down, push the tissue, push the bicep up and out of the way, and then sink down onto that coracobrachialis muscle like so. So it's not like a quadricep, we're not going to sit there and work on it for five minutes. This is a small muscle, we're pushing it up against basically the humerus, so it's just small little strokes along here, okay? So the coracobrachialis, and that is for the musculocutaneous nerve entrapment.